Hey guys, my name is Nick, and as you can tell by my hair, I just woke up. First, some introductions. Uh, so as I said, my name is Nick. I am a senior finance major with a minor in business analytics. Um, I'm originally from Irvine, California. I'll get more into that later. Um, so today, I'm just going to take you through a typical day, some of the classes I go to, um, as well as some of my favorite spots on campus, and just kind of give you a little preview of maybe what you would experience here on campus as well. Hey guys, so I just got my New York Deli and Bagels. So that is personally my favorite breakfast restaurant on Main Street. Um, even my New York friends say they have good bagels, so therefore they must have good bagels. But as you can see, Main Street's just right behind me and there's so much you can do on Main Street, so many different types of food, and it's all in walkable distance. So you really don't need to leave campus for anything, really. It's all on Main Street. Hey guys, so here I'm going to my first class. And as you can see, there's literally no one in here. So I always like to get to class very early. Um, I usually get there like 15 or 20 minutes early just because I don't want to be late. Um, that's kind of like my biggest fear. So that's just me. Um, but my first class of the day is valuations. Um, it's basically learning about how to evaluate different companies, whether private or public. But I will get ready for class and I'll see you guys after. All right, so I just finished my valuations class. So I was picked to talk about my valuation model uh, about this private furniture company. So it was kind of nerve wracking, but it actually went pretty well. So I'm done with my first class of the day. And now we're going to head to my second class. All right, hey guys. So I'm currently cooking in my class. We're slicing up some tomatoes. And the spice of the week is rosemary. So we're going to make some rosemary pasta. And as you see, they're doing all the work while I wait for the water to boil. <laughs> And then we put the pasta in, add it to this oil mixture over here, add some cheese and tomatoes, and we're good to go. And a little bit of love. Yes, and some love. And here is my lovely partners, Matt and Travis. So we'll see what happens. All right, so we just finished class. Um, so as you saw in the previous video, we just made some rosemary pasta. It was really good. Everyone else in the class liked it. Um, so this cooking class is actually a one credit class that you can take. Um, so usually as you progress farther in your college career, you can take these one credit classes that are really fun. They range from like yoga to like ice skating to cooking and they're really useful like skills you can learn just for fun. Um, so that's why I chose cooking and you can do it with friends or just meet some new people as well. So that's kind of why I chose cooking. So that's just my second class of the day. So we're going to head to my other classes and we'll see what happens from there. All right, here, I'm ready for my third class of the day, which is derivatives. So that's where I learn about calls, options, puts, um, different types of methods to approach the stock market and invest. Um, so it's pretty interesting stuff. So I'm going to head in and I'll see you guys later. All right, so I just finished my derivatives class and I'm walking currently to my last class of the day, which is Missy, what is it? 408. 408, yeah, that's right. It's about Python. So it's machine learning. It's pretty fun. This is my friend Jacob. Um, he's in all three of my classes, so I see him a lot. And this right behind me is the green. It's kind of pretty because they have all the flags for Veterans Day. Um, it's a great place to also just like lounge and do homework if you want. So here's to my last class and I'm almost done. So today I have an academic advising appointment with my advisor, Carrie Baldwin. So I figured this would be a good opportunity for you guys to see what it is like to get advised and kind of go through that process of registering for your classes. So I'm about to go into my advising appointment. So I think I know what classes I want to take for my final semester. I just want to make sure that they're the right classes that fit in. Sure. Um, so I was thinking I'd take uh, an English course. I know that. Yeah. Um, and then I know I have to take uh, UD 441 um, and then UD 445, my minor, and then I guess I have a free elective. Is that yes. how it works? Yes. Yeah, sounds good. And you know, with the English requirement, uh, you can go with any of these three that are on the sheet here. 312 is the most popular option for finance majors because it's a business writing course. Um, so our finance majors feel like that's the one that's most applicable um, to where they're at. But any of those will, will be fine. And then, so for the free elective, I can just literally take anything I want? You can take anything you want. So any class that's of interest to you, that you have the prereqs for, uh, absolutely, you can do that. Oh, that sounds, sounds pretty easy. Yeah. So after graduation, what are your plans? So actually, I just got a job offer um, with this company called Capital Group, and I'm going to be working in Virginia um, for the foreseeable future. So I'm working in investment operations, so I'm really excited about that. Congratulations. So, thank you. It's all because all of you. 
<laughs> Not really. <laughs> so welcome to Javon Student Center, a place where students can get a quick bite to eat. Uh, my personal favorite being Chick-fil-A. They're the best chicken on campus. We also have different study spaces that students can just stop and study in between classes or if they want to get their homework done, they can stop there as well. My personal favorite aspect of Javon is how clubs can market to the student body on campus. And actually we have a club right here called a &I. Uh, This is actually one of my clubs where they sell different apparel to market and raise funds for different charities. Uh, and our cause this semester is actually Save the Bees. Um, also in Chamont, we have the Chamont Theater. We also have a student-run restaurant called Vita Nova. And uh, just other quiet study lounge spaces that you can kind of get some homework done or just even take a nap if you want to. So it's definitely one of the coolest places that you have on campus. All right, so I'm currently in Perkins right now, and right behind me is Duncan. So it's very popular, and it has the best hot chocolate on campus, in my opinion. So I personally don't like coffee, so I judge a place by its hot chocolate, and I think it has the best on campus. Uh, also in Perkins, we have the Hen Zone, which is really cool. So from 2 p.m. to 12 a.m., you can have 10 hours of continuous gaming, and I highly take advantage of that. And you can also play pool. I've played ping pong there, and there's so many activities to do. It's awesome. And on top of that, there's this thing called Perkins Live every Friday that I went to every single week of freshman year. And they had different events ranging from uh, family Feud, where I actually won $40, which is amazing. And they also have Bingo Nights, which is like the most competitive thing there, where everyone plays bingo and they give away these huge prizes like Xboxes and Playstations. Again, this is Perkins, and like I said, it's just one of my most favorite places to hang out and just do things at the Student Center. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video. You guys got to see the various activities that I go through on a day-to-day -day basis. And as I mentioned before in the very beginning, I'm from California originally, which is why I have that flag behind me. And one of the biggest reasons I wanted to come to Delaware was because of its business program. And on top of that, I got to see some snow as well as just a bonus. Um, I absolutely love snow. But again, their business program was amazing. And you know, the more I take these business classes, the more I just fall in love with the major and the University of Delaware as well. And I've gotten very involved in the community. I'm a tour guide. I'm also a peer mentor for Learner. I'm also involved in various clubs and then I just try to do a lot for Learner as well just to stay involved and make sure I give back to a college that has given me so much. And I just kind of want to finish with a ironic story. Uh, so on campus I am a tour guide as I just mentioned and I never actually toured the University of Delaware before saying yes to it. The first time I saw the campus was in June for orientation and I had taken virtual tours previously but I had never actually seen the campus. So. Uh, if I can do that, you know, you can do whatever you want. So, again, thank you for watching. It was a very fun video for me to film, and I hope you enjoyed my day at UD.